We have new information this afternoon about Adam Brown, the man accused of attacking a 10 year old boy inside a local Wendy's restaurant. Well, Brown was in court earlier today. He pleaded not guilty to all the charges he's facing. And now we're hearing about his past from another victim. Our reporter, Casey Montoya, talked with her today. Casey, the more you hear about Brown, you wonder why was he ever released into the community? It's a great question, and that's exactly what his victim and her mother asked today, too. Now, back in the 90s, they were told that he had HIV and he would die in prison. Obviously, that didn't happen. But in 1993, he was indicted on 43 counts. He took a plea deal and got all this down to just four counts. And when we decided to look into these charges and you hear some of them, you'll wonder, Jeff, why he was ever out of prison. Adam Lee Brown, the man accused of attacking a 10 year old boy, pleaded not guilty to charges today handed down by a grand jury. Those nine charges include attempted murder. He's now being held on nearly $2 million bail for those charges and without bail because police say he violated his parole when he attacked a 10 year old boy in a Northeast Portland Wendy's restroom. Investigators say Brown followed the boy into the bathroom. You've had a monster in your community that nobody even knew about. The public didn't know. Brown is a sex offender and he is considered predatory. Danny Lyle says she's one of his victims, but he didn't serve time for that crime. In these court documents from 1993, Brown, who is HIV positive, is charged with 43 counts, including attempted murder. He's also charged with giving marijuana to minors, having sex with boys under the age of 12, and having unprotected sex with a girl under the age of 12. The list goes on. But Brown's 43 charges were dropped to four thanks to a plea deal. He served just 11 years behind bars. Danny's still haunted by the attack on her, but she says she had considered meeting with Brown before she heard about what happened at Wendy's. Maybe, you know, kind of as a therapy session, talk to him and, and really sit down and try to get in his mind a thought process of why and, you know, just try to see what was going on. And, you know, I thought maybe... He could have not changed, but maybe it was, you know, a psychological problem or a mental disease, and maybe he had gotten better, but he hasn't, and he's horrible. He actually hasn't got better. He got out of jail in 2004, moved here to the Portland area in 2011, and since then, he's violated his parole four times. A year ago, he was caught with pornography. Just six months ago, they caught him with meth, and last month, a warrant was issued for his arrest because his parole officer couldn't find him. Now, his trial is set for late August. Reporting for you live in downtown Portland, Casey Montoya, Coin Local 6.